Today we're heading to the southernmost tip of Egypt, right near the Sudanese border, to visit one of the most stunning temples ever discovered in Egypt. Hidden from the world for thousands of years, this is Abu Simbel. The main temple is dedicated to Ramses II. It stands a massive 33 metres high and was built in 1244 BC. On either side of the entrance there are two massive statues, each standing 20 metres high. Next to his legs we can see a few smaller statues depicting key members of his family. In this one we can see Ramsay's royal wife, Queen Nefertari. Looking at this temple today, it's hard to believe that just 60 years ago, this entire complex was relocated to stop it from being flooded by the upper Aswan Dam. The inside of the temple is quite complex and unusual because of all of these internal chambers. When you first enter the temple, you'll walk into the Apostle Hall. The roof of the Apostle Hall is supported by eight gigantic deified statues of Ramses II. The walls are totally covered in these incredible images, telling a story of the various military campaigns that Ramses had been involved in. Tucked into the back of the temple is a small sanctuary. From right to left we have the gods Ptah and Amun-Ra, then we have the deified king Ramses, and then the god Raharakti. It's believed that the temple was positioned by the ancient Egyptian architects in such a way that on October the 22nd and February the 22nd, the rays of the sun would penetrate the sanctuary and illuminate the sculptures on the back wall. All of them except the statue of Ta, a god connected with the realm of the dead who always remained in the dark. Just to the right of the main temple, Ramses constructed another temple in honour of his royal wife, Queen Nefertari. The statues at the front of this temple are about 10 metres high and represent the king and his wife, Queen Nefertari. Remarkably, this is one of the very few instances in Egyptian art where the statues of the king and his queen are the same size. Inside the temple, the roof is supported by six pillars decorated with the Queen playing music with the various gods. These beautiful images that cover the walls represent scenes of offerings to various gods made by either the Pharaoh or the Queen. In the next video, we'll take a relaxing cruise on the magnificent Nile River. We'll also visit Philo Temple and the Unfinished Obelisk.
be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the next stage of this incredible Egyptian adventure.